Let's go ahead and check out what else is happening around the association this evening. A pretty light schedule, only four other games, two of which are going on right now. So as we take a look at it, we will begin with the games in Atlanta. The Hawks leading the Magic pretty comfortably. 65-48 to 48 in that one. That is also at the break. Under two minutes to go in New Orleans. The Pelicans still leading the Nets. 54-48 to 48 in that one. Zion Williamson has 14 points early to lead the Pelicans there. Coming up here at 10 o'clock, the final two games on the docket this evening are the Kings and the Timberwolves from Sacramento. While two playoff teams in the West square off in Portland between the Trailblazers and the Clippers. As Sam mentioned, we had a LaMelo Ball update a little, not quite late last night, but in the evening, uh, some pretty big news. LaMelo Ball did get that cast off of his right hand, and he is starting to go through the process of rehabbing, and that process pretty much started as soon as that cast came off. Here's what LaMelo had to say about that rehab process earlier today during media availability. Pretty much already started. I mean, this morning, I had treatment, did a lot of stuff, kind of trying to bend it down, bend it up, all that type of stuff. And LaMelo was seen at the Garden with the team. He was going through some ball handling drills, doing some weight training before the game as well. And so was Malik Monk. Malik Monk was out on the court getting some shooting in, also going through some rehab drills alongside LaMelo. So still no update on how far away Malik Monk is from returning from that ankle injury, but good to see him out there getting some shooting done nonetheless. But following this one in New York, the Hornets hit the road once again as we take a look at the road ahead, and it will be heading west to the Windy City. Temple, Temple, jump pass, off to the right. Kobe for three, yes! Kobe White, wide open, 27-footer. Kobe's fourth triple, and here come the Bulls, folks. It's a one-point deficit, 74-73. The one and only Chuck Swirsky with the call there on the radio, the Chicago Bulls radio network. Charlotte will look to even the series on Thursday with the win over the Bulls, who will be without Zach Levine, who entered health and safety protocols last week. Bulls are extremely streaky this season. Since the end of March, Chicago has lost six in a row, won three straight.